My name is John Bosworth. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in St. Pete, Florida. I'd like to talk a little bit about how to test first graders for ADD or ADHD. What I really like to do in, in when somebody comes to me and they think that their kid might be, you know, can you test him for attention deficit or do you think that, you know, he might have ADD or ADHD? The, one of the first things you really want to do is get a kind of a, a detailed history from the parent and maybe some, some history from a teacher or people that have worked with the, with the child before. And what I usually do is ask him to do like a simple task, like I'll, I'll pull out a, a picture, have him draw a picture, or just ask him, give him a couple instructions and see how much he can, how much he tracks on that, he or she tracks on that. And what you usually find that if somebody has some type of deficit in attention or hyperactivity or impulsivity, they usually won't follow the directions really well, and you might have to ask them to do it again. So when they, when you, you kind of really just want to watch the behavior and just observe the child and see how they follow directions and see if there's any attention problems there. If there is, then you may want to go on to use two different tests. And the tests that I like to use are the Bender Gestalt, which literally is a test where kind of, it kind of tracks um, a child's memory or their task orientation, um, their ability to focus, that kind of thing. You can also watch them draw pictures and see if they get distracted. And then there's the Connors rating scale. And the Connors rating scale is probably the most efficient thing uh, or testing instrument because what happens is in the Connors rating instrument, I would give a teacher a behavioral checklist and I would give the mom a behavioral checklist or the dad or whoever spends the most time with the child have them rate for a couple weeks or a month or even a week or so whatever timeline we decide have them rate certain behaviors on the checklist and then you compare the the levels you know the different levels of the impulsive behavior or hyperactive behavior and it gives you a pretty good assessment of whether the child is indeed or has indeed some type of attention deficit problem or hyperactivity problem. Um, and also, why, in addition to that, what I like to do is talk to any of you know, the family physicians or the, or the pediatrician to see if they can give me some kind of history also, because you want to rule out any other type of medical problem or hormonal imbalance or anxiety or depression. My name is John Bosworth, and I'm talking about testing first graders for ADD or ADHD.